to r32media.com. This is part one of a tutorial that I'll show you how to make an iPhone application or an iOS application for your podcast and your podcast website. So the first thing you're going to need is a Macintosh computer. Unfortunately, um, in order to develop apps for the iPad, the iPod, and the iPhone, you need a Mac. Uh, next thing you're going to need to do is download the Xcode program and the iOS SDK. And once it's free to download, you can download and install it on your computer. But let me give you a little caveat. Uh, you can download it, install it, and run a simulator on your computer, but you cannot install them into your device until you pay a $99 a year fee. To become a registered developer but you can download and play and get used to it decide if you want to do it yourself or if you'd like to pay somebody to do it but it's really easy and I think pretty much anybody that knows how to use a mouse and maybe has a little bit of basic HTML or can follow screencasts like this well can do it I learned how to do it on my own so I think you can too so first thing you do is open up Xcode and create a new project. And one of my favorite apps to make is called a tab bar application. Make sure your product here is on iPhone, unless you want to make an iPad app, but let's keep it simple. Let's just make an iPhone app first. And then you either double click or click on choose down here. And let's name it podcasting. one just in case I made one before and what you see here is the first screen and I'm gonna show you how I set up my screen so first I make it a little bit bigger I move this window up here and I'll open up the classes and the resources folders these are the only things you're pretty much gonna need okay before we go any farther let's see what Apple gave us Apple gave us a lot here we have a function and application so go ahead and hit build and run and the simulator is going to launch and we're going to see the app we have. What we have now is a tab bar based app. This is the tab bar with two views in it. First view and second view. So let's go ahead in and customize a little bit so it'll give you an idea of how the interface builder works. So go ahead and exit out of that which is uh, command Q or just use your mouse. And if you look in the resources folder here, there's a first view xi.xib, the second view .xib, and a main view .xib. This xib actually is pronounced nib, n-i-b, uh, and that comes from the old next step programming language that, uh, or I guess programming language that that Apple bought from uh, Steve Jobs back in the day. Okay, so the first view and the second view are the views that we saw in the app. Let me go ahead and open up the, the simulator again to kind of show you. So this is the first view here and this is the second view here. The actual main.xib or the main.nib is basically the tab bar itself. So to customize the first view you go into first view nib. To customize the second view you go into the second view nib. And to customize this this toolbar, this uh, tab bar down here, you go into the main. So first thing I want to do is kind of go into the first view here and have a look and see and change a couple things just to kind of give you an idea. So once you double click on it, it launches a program called the Interface Builder which is an awesome, awesome uh, program that helps you make it look nice. So first thing we're going to do is call this Home and We'll put something in here. Uh, R32media.com. Okay. And we changed the, te the text here. So let's change the background color. We'll make it uh, ah, blue, I guess. And then we will file save or command S. Okay. And then we'll command Q to quit it. And let's run the program. And what this this actually it's still running from previously. So just click OK, 
and then uh, it'll actually run it again. So see, the first view is what we, we edited. We haven't touched the second view yet. And these are the changes we've made. So let's click that, and we'll open up the second view, and we'll make that a different color. And these windows, funnily, funnily, is that a word? These windows just pop out of nowhere. And we'll call this second view. And we'll just delete this all together. We'll change the color to like pink or something. There we go. Then we'll Command S, Command Q to quit. And we'll build it run again. And now we have both pages customized. Yeah. Okay. So now you're asking yourself, okay, how is this going to help me with an, with an application for my podcast? Well, if you think about it, your application is basically an advertisement or marketing for your podcast. So if I were a podcaster, which I am, and I wanted to make an application, I would probably want to make an application that kind of shows off and talks about my podcast. So I'd probably want the first tab to be some kind of graphics and oh, probably my album art of my podcast or a logo or things like that. Uh, you can kind of think of it as a home page, but it's, it's inside an app. And maybe the second tab, I would want my web page to display. And then if we wanted a third tab, possibly you'd want how to subscribe, some links in there, contact information, things like that. So basically, for a podcast app, it's marketing, it's advertising. You want people to be able to find it. You want people to be able to see and listen, see or listen, and or listen. And you want people to be able to subscribe if they're going to subscribe or easily listen when they launch the app. So that's kind of what, what I'm thinking about for this application here. And you can do it any way you like. But for part one of this tutorial, what we're going to do is have first, second, and we're going to add a third tab down at the bottom here. And then we'll stop and it'll continue in part two. So let me go ahead and quit this. And the way you add another tab is first click on the classes folder and then do a right click on it and you're going to add a new file and it should pop up with UI view controller subclass and with XIB for user interface this is exactly how you want it if you're building an iPad app you would check that but other, other than that just keep it the way it is and click next now we're going to name it I'm going to go ahead and call this third view and make sure this creates the this, this box here the also create third view dot h is checked and everything else you can pretty much leave it the way it is and what happened is it created a dot h a dot m and a dot xib and what you want to do is for uh, ease of use drop down the third xib below the second so you have first second and third so it's just easy to remember and you don't get confused so when you're beginning programming it's it's very important to to follow a similar workflow so you, you don't get lost because you will get lost once you get into coding but right now we're gonna we're not gonna code anything so that that'll make your life a lot easier so what we don't want to do now is our main window only has two buttons so we need to add another button so we're going to go ahead and open up this main window.xib to add a button. And like I said, these windows kind of pop up everywhere, so you got to kind of look for it. So here's our main view, our, our main window has the first and the second. We need to add a third button. So in your library here, all the way at the bottom, you're looking for a tab bar item. So just click on it and drag it, and I'll put it in the third spot here. Double click on the name, we'll just call it third to keep everything consistent and if you notice when you click on the first it shows where it's loaded from it's loaded from first view you click on the second it's loaded from the second view click on the third we're not loading anything if we launch the program it will be white blank nothing in there so instead of launching a program and showing you a white screen let's go ahead and connect these so in this view controller attributes tab thing here 
there's four tabs. So on the first one, you'll see it says nib name. And remember I said a .xib file actually it's pronounced nib nib. So this is where there's a little inconsistency in the in the Xcode and in the interface builder. So get used to being to hearing and seeing XIB can be either nib or XIB, NIB or XIB. So what you're going to do is hit the drop down menu and you're looking for the third view you just created. Okay. So now it knows to pull this third view up. And one more place you have to go before you continue is go to the little information tab here. And you got to give it the class which is the third view, the one we just created. So third view on the nib, third view on the class right here on this last tab. Then you're going to save, so I'm going to use Command S to save and Command Q to quit. Now let's build and run. So now our app has first, second, and third. But there's nothing on the third. Why? Because we didn't put anything there. So let's open up this third view. Let me close this real quick. Open up the third view here. And let's drop something in there. So we have a blank view. And we're going to look in our library here for a label. We'll just put a label in here. Cool thing about uh, Interface Builder is it has guides. So whenever you get to the edge, it pops up. When you get to this edge, it pops up. And it's kind of like a word processor or a page making program. You can center, you can left, or you can right align it. So put in the center. And then when it's highlighted, let's go ahead and click on the font here. We'll bump this thing up to like 48. Give it a bold and we'll close that. And we'll change the text color to like orange or something, tangerine color. Close that and we'll save it. File save or Command S. And let's put third on here just to make it easy to understand. And we'll hit save again and we'll quit and we'll build and run in theory. You now have a program with three views on the three tabs and three views. First, second, and third. Okay, that'll be the end of part one. Part two will be coming. We're gonna add a an image to the first view. We're probably gonna make the second view a web page. And the third view we're gonna make it an information page. So stay tuned for that tutorial. Again, this is r32media.com. We offer podcast hosting. We'll host your audio and video file. Um, uh, even image files if you'd like. Any, any media files you'd like to host, R32 Media can do that. And we offer packages from uh, basic to VIP. There's about four packages there. So head over to r32media.com and check it out. Thank you for watching.